guys and welcome back to my parents kitchen today we're making a chicken yasa let's check out what we need let's go today we need a whole bunch of stuff i won't bore you with the details in short we need a marinade some chicken and some rice to serve our dish with and now let's make some room and put everything under our table so we can start our prep and we'll start off with our chicken for our chicken we need a knife on our board you can use chicken breasts chicken thighs chicken legs all up to you i'm using chicken breasts and we will slice one done reserve second one and slice Second one done, third one. Our chicken's cut, it can go back where it came from. My small board and knife will go in the sink. Our chicken's kind of bland right now, so add some flavor. Garlic, smash it raw. We smashed it, now slice and dice, baby, let's go. Of course, my white knife was clean in the sink. That's good enough for now. We need a place to put it, put it on a plate. And our garlic can go away, and our onions can come in the way. Two big, thick onions, cut in two, already pre-peeled and we'll cut from the inside. First quarter is done, remove. This part will be marinated. The last three won't be marinated. We'll put them in a bowl. And like the other one, cut from the inside. First quarter done. And now let's move on. Last one. And in the bowl. Continuing on with our marinade, we need two peppers. Yeet that away. And now half of it will go for a marinade and half of it will go in the pan later on. First half, second half, and reserve. And now limes, cut in two, four, eight halves, and reserve. It's about that time to work on our time. Time like this and go against the grain, like that. I'm using about two bunches of thyme. And now our thyme will be used in a little bit of time. We are ready to make our marinade. This is what we need. They're all here. Let's make some room and start our marinade. We'll need a bowl. Mustard, 45 milliliters. Garlic, four cloves to five cloves. Thyme, half of our chili pepper. Now a sieve, four limes, eight halves. Crush like the skulls of your enemy. Get all of that juice in there. You want about 100 milliliters of fresh lime juice. You can use limes, you can use lemons. It's about the same. And eight. Grab all of that juice, and now the guts of the lime can go in the compost. With a fork, mix it all in. In our marinade, our chicken. Grab all that chicken, get messy with it. It's proven that the messier you get doing this, the better it'll taste. And now, a quarter of our chopped onions inside. Continue to flippity flip all of that goodness together. And I'll put a film over it and leave it in the fridge for about two to four hours. The longer you wait, the better it'll taste. Moving on to the rest of our prep. Parsley, roll it together and slice and dice. We decimate our parsley, plate, and reserve. For the end, just a bit of green onions. That's enough. Well, I forgot salt and pepper in our mix. So, salt and pepper. Clean hands, mix again. Bring the bottom on top, bring the top on the bottom, tourne et retourne, and we'll put this back in the fridge for another hour. Everything's ready, we're ready to cook. Heat our pan up, our pan's heating up, and now let's get ready. To get ready, heat an oil, a good base. Our base is hot, drop it like it's hot. Flippity flip, equalize, and do a tourne et retourne. Our goal now is to sear the chicken. We don't want to cook it, we want to just sear it. After two minutes, heat the oven up to 350 degrees Celsius. Our marinade is slowly evaporating, that's okay. After about four minutes, it's quite hot, we'll put the onions in the spot. Grab all of them and let them drop. Turn the heat down to medium, we do not want to burn our onions. Patience is the key. After two or three minutes of constant flip and reflips, our chicken is not cooked yet, that is not the goal. At this point, we can add in the rest of our hot boys. Hot boys on top, bowl away. After a total of about four to five minutes, our onions reduced by half. Turn the heat down to medium. Two bay leaves inside, and chicken broth just to coat. About 100 milliliters, we're eyeballing this part. Insert the bay leaves, and all of this goodness can go in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 to 25 minutes. We'll check. Heat off. Our chicken's almost done, we'll move on to our rice. Pot open, 250 milliliters of water, heat it up, and wait for it to boil. Our water is boiling, 250 grams of rice, so one for one inside. Do a spin, respin. Turn the heat off here, turn the heat on to low over here, and our pot can go over there. After five minutes, our rice is done. Let's investigate. Absolutely beautiful. And heat off. 
After waiting 25 minutes, our chicken will be done. Heat off, and our chicken boys can come out of the oven. Marinated olives inside, green onion, some, and parsley. Sprinkle the parsley on top. With the help of a spatula, incorporate and at the same time, yeet away the bay leaves. Do a spin re-spin to incorporate all the elements and at the same time we're heating up the olives. Everything's hot, be careful. Rice on the table. And look at that beauty. And our rice on our plate. I didn't wash my rice, my rice was pre-washed. Let's serve. A couple olives here and there, and a tad more over there. And there we have it. Our homemade chicken yasa is done. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I'm gonna enjoy this recipe. Our chicken yasa is done. It was very fun to make, but it's gonna be even more fun to eat later on. Thank you guys all so much for watching my video, and I'll see you guys in our next one. See ya, bye.